Hello guys and welcome back to Intel Media, here we give you all the information you need to know about new movies and upcoming series, from storylines, cast, release date and news. Don't forget to subscribe now to Intel Media and push the bell icon so you don't miss any of our daily videos. David Gordon Green directed Halloween blew everyone's minds off when it came out in 2018. This horror thriller was such a big hit that the production announced two sequels. Halloween Kills is the second part of the film, in October 2021. And now the third and the final part of the series Halloween Ends is all set to be out. This article will try to find out some more interesting details about the upcoming horror thriller. Halloween Kills came out in October 2021, and now Halloween Ends is set to hit the theaters on October 15, 2022. We all must gear up for yet another amazing theatrical experience. David Gordon Green will be back to direct this part as well. However, we don't know if this will come out in theaters or might as well release on some odd platform. That would depend on the situation of COVID-19. Not much detail has been revealed yet but what we know is that Jamie Lee Curtis will return as Laurie Strode. Andy Matichik will be back as Allison. Unfortunately, most characters have already been killed in the last two parts. The killed characters include Karen, Judy Greer, Tommy Doyle, and Michael Hall. Robert Longstreet plays Dylan Arnold backquote S. Cameron and Lonnie. The main villain in the last two parts is Michael Myers. As they have survived in the last parts, a few characters that might see a return in this part are Will Patson's return as Deputy Frank Hawkins Omar Dorsey as Sheriff Barker. Kyle Richards also plays the part of Lindsay Wallace. Some new characters might be seen in this part, but nothing has been revealed yet, so I guess we will have to wait for some more time for the names to be out. We are eager to know the names who will be joining the cast soon. However, we know that the present cast and characters they play are very gripping, and this part of the Halloween trilogy will surely be a good experience on screen. Even though nothing has been revealed about the plot or the story, we know that this part will be unique from the last two parts. Unlike Halloween Kills, which was based on the previous part, this sequel will have a time leap of four years. We have got to know from some sources that Larry Strode might not be the main driving force, but in this part, Allison, his granddaughter, will be the main driving force of the movie. The movie makers have tried so hard to keep all the details about the movie a secret. They are not revealing much about the plot, which keeps the audience suspenseful about what will happen next. But we are sure that Halloween ends like its prequels will be an amazing theatrical experience. Because the movie's shooting is still going on, we do not have any officially released trailer or teaser, but we have some stills from the last part that might hint towards this one. Since the shooting is going on, there are some changes that we might get to see a teaser or a trailer of the movie by summer, until then, a few edits have been made. Still, no trailer has been officially released yet, it looks like the makers will keep the audience thrilled. Even though we do not have a lot of details about the movie. However, we can assure you that this one will be a bang on the theatrical experience with some amazing work done by the cast and under the direction of such an amazing director. Some good thrill is going to be served to the audience. This is surely something the audience must look forward to with high hopes. Let us know what your expectations are from the film. Also, bookmark this page for regular updates regarding Halloween Ends Movie.